بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سمر ٹاسک فور کلاس ایٹ سائنس ٹو سائنس ٹو مینس فزکس پورشن وچ اسٹارٹس فرام یونٹ سیون فورس اینڈ پریشر آن پیج ایٹی ٹو دا فسٹ ٹاپک ان دس چیپٹر از فورس اینڈ پریشر سو کمنگ ٹو ورڈ فورس ایز یو پیپل نو اباؤٹ فورس یو پیپل اسٹڈی ان کلاس سکس اینڈ ففتھ Even in class 1 and class 2, you also study about force, but here we will explain in detail uh, so that your concept should be clear about force. So I will give you an example which is there on um, your screens. You can see that two uh, boys are applying some force on an object. One is pushing that and another one is pulling that. So we can say that two force are there uh, on the same object and uh, one is the pushing force and one is the pulling force so how we can define force we can define force that force is basically push or pull when we apply force on an object so that force also affect that object through different waves and what are those effects The first one is uh, force can change speed of a moving object, force can change direction of a moving object and force can move an object at rest or stops a moving object and it can also change the shape of an object. Moving toward uh, the first effect, I will give you some examples from daily life and then you will exp- uh, understand uh, that what it means. Examples from daily life will clear your concept. The first uh, effect is that force can change the speed of a moving object. Looking toward this example, uh, clearly you can see that the tire is moving and the boy is applying some force on that moving tire. When he increases force, the, tire, the speed of the tire increases more. So it means that force can change the speed of a moving object if you apply more 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 force so the speed of the object will be also increase the second effect is that the force can change direction of a moving object what it means how force can change the direction of a moving object uh, as you people uh, play cricket when a moving ball come toward you so you hit that ball with your bat when you hit that ball with the bat so you can change the direction of that ball you can change the direction of that moving object by applying force through that bat so we can say that force can change direction of a moving object the third effect is that force can move an object which is at rest or it can stop a moving object So I give you here two uh, examples. The one example is that let's consider a box, a heavy box and it is at rest and two boys are pushing that. So the box is at rest. When they apply some force on that box, the two boys apply some force on that box. So the box start moving. When it start moving, it is because of uh, force, right? So we can say that force can uh, move an object when that object was at rest. The second example is uh, you can see there that the goalkeeper is trying to stop a moving object. The ball is coming toward him and he is trying to stop that with his, uh, his hands. So we can say that force can make a moving object to stop. The fourth effect is that force can change the shape of an object. The example which I will give you, uh, you notice in your home that when, you, when someone is needing uh, the dough, any dough like that, is, that can be pizza dough or any kind of dough, when someone is needing that dough, so they apply force by uh, their hands and clearly you can see that time that the shape of the dough is changing uh, with increase of force. In the same way, a force can also change the shape of an orange. When you squeeze an orange, so when more force you apply, the more change you can see in that. So we can say that force can change the shape of an object. 
so from all these examples uh what uh, what is the conclusion what we conclude from all these examples so simply you can say that force is a push or pull but the proper definition which you get from all these examples that is that force is an agent which can produce or tends to produce motion in a body or it is an agent which can stop or tend to stop a moving body or it is an agent which tends to stop the speed and direction of a moving body now we are coming toward the notion and unit of force so force is denoted by a uh, capital f and unit of force is newton we are coming toward pressure now if force is clear to you so it will be easy for you to understand about pressure what is pressure the amount of force exerted on a surface per unit area is defined as pressure mathematically pressure is equal to force divided by area before going uh, to explain uh, this mathematical form i will give you a hint there looking toward your right side you will find there a triangle in a triangle on the top uh, there we have force down below we have area and pressure you can easily uh, memorize uh, this mathematical form uh, from this hint if someone ask you what is pressure equal to so you can easily find from this from you can easily get from this triangle that pressure is equal to force divided by area if someone ask you what is uh, area equal to that is force divided by pressure and in the same way force is equal to area multiply pressure mathematically as pressure is equal to force divided by area it means that pressure is directly proportional to force and inversely proportional to area directly proportional and inversely proportional means uh, that uh, when directly means as direct so uh, pressure is directly proportional to force it means when force will be more pressure will be more if you apply more force on any object so as a result you will get more pressure while area is inversely proportional so when you apply area will be for example area of an object is less so in that more pressure will be there there vice versa vice versa means if one quantity is increasing so another one will be decreasing inversely in case of inversely proportional uh this thing will be explained to you uh, uh by looking toward the example um let's consider we have uh, some sand and in that sand we put a piece of uh wood horizontally when you put a piece of uh, wood horizontally so in horizontal case the area is more when the area will be more so in that case less pressure is there that is represented there with three dots so less pressure is there in that case but when you uh, put the same uh, wooden block vertically so down below area is less when area will be less pressure will be more so you can find there that the box the the wooden block which is in vertical direction so in that case pressure is more i will give you some more examples from daily life and then pressure will be uh, more clear to you people you notice that the cutting edge of a knife is very sharp this question can come in your exam someone can ask you about this that why the cutting edge of a knife is made very thin very thin means that the area is less so in that case when the area is less so it means you can get more pressure and you can easily cut any fruit on any object because when the area will be less pressure will be more uh in the same way uh the same question like uh the sharp blades of a scissor so the the sharp blade sharp means that the area is less when the area will be less pressure will be more so that is why the scissor can cut anything easily uh have you ever notice about your school bags the straps of your school bags are uh, a bit uh, thicker so why that is why that is so because that that is thicker so in that case the area is more and the area will be more pressure will be less 
So I hope all these, uh, from all these examples, uh, it will be clear to you people that how pressure, area, and force are related to each other. So now we are coming toward the unit of pressure, and you can easily get the unit of pressure from its mathematical form. Is you know that um, pressure is equal to force by area. The unit of force is newton, so newton will come there on the top, and then divided by the unit of area is meter square. So the unit of pressure is newton divided by meter square, which is equal to pascal.